route for the conference. Super excited. I have my porridge. I forgot a spoon. I'm gonna get a spoon. On the train from train cafeteria I'm gonna get a spoon. I hope to meet plenty of like-minded people, plenty of people interested in AI hopefully because it's while well, on consciousness and artificial intelligence and thinking. There's gonna be a lot of cognitive scientists so I'm really really interested in their perspectives on uh, you know super intelligence or good old artificial intelligence. Uh, with my podcast right now, where things stand, I'm just going to give you an update. I'm a bit short on guests, so there is a tiny crisis going on, so this conference is coming to me in the right time, because I will be able to, you know, talk to people and hopefully persuade them to come on my podcast. It's like an hour train, maybe, an hour or so. Coffee. Porridge. I am in Cambridge and since I'm super late anyways uh, I decided to walk it it's like half an hour walk from the station to the place where the conference is held and it's I think Cambridge University Students Union or something like that horrendous thing happened to me on the train so I went to Pratt got a flat white a banana and porridge um, and I got the flat white for free because they because my card took forever to pay for the porridge and the banana so that they couldn't be bothered with waiting for me to pay for my flat white. So in the end I got it for free and was super happy, but I didn't get the spoon for my porridge and I couldn't get it on the train with all my resourcefulness. So I had to throw in my porridge because it got cold. I also read something on the train. I was reading The Economist to review it later decided to start this Economist and Wired magazine review. I like reading about European politics and economics and stuff like that, so a lot of it was on Italy and what they have going on with their government and how it's kind of destabilizing for the European Union. Also, there was a bit on Quitterly, which I think is actually really creative. Instead of like, I mean, obviously Brexit was is pretty nice sounding but I think Quitterly is pretty cool and uh, one of the articles was on China and uh, the Chinese state of play for surveillance uh, I think in northern China there is this Muslim minority northern or eastern I'm not sure about the geography but there is this Muslim minority that actually constitutes for the majority of the population in that city in China I think it's called Xinjiang or something of that nature. Apologies, my Chinese is a bit rusty. There, they have artificial intelligence software that is rating citizens in terms of their reliability or trustworthiness. And there is an indicator there in that software saying that if you are a member of that uh, Muslim ethnic group, then you're automatically less trustworthy and less reliable, which I thought was completely outrageous. And um, I knew that China has problems with surveillance and you know, human rights and right of privacy, etc., etc. But I think this was just completely beyond what I anticipated. You know, it's kind of straightforward racism and this bias of uh, ethnicity is now implemented into their artificial intelligence, you know, countrywide monitoring. You know, obviously, straightforward discrimination of AI software based on ethnicity is just completely, I mean, 
I don't I don't see this happening and if it does happen it's gonna be a huge scandal um, okay so I am okay so walk past it's great I'm going back now so there's all kinds of buildings like this is this gothic okay oh wow Yeah. 